Hey, welcome back to my hometown, Georgetown, Texas, where today we're featuring two entrepreneurs who have built an incredible couple of businesses, Mesquite Creek Outfitters and The Golden Rule. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Check it out, we're here north of Cool. So yeah, we're here now with Cody and Brad. These guys are the founders and really what, managing partners, I guess, of uh, Mesquite Creek Outfitters and uh, the Golden Rule here in Georgetown. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about their story. So Cody, tell me, man, how did this come to be? Well, it's, it's, it's kind of a funny story. We were in the aircraft business for God, 14, 15 years at that point, and oil prices went flat. Yeah. And when oil prices go flat, so does the aircraft purchasing. What we decided to do was turn our hangar into a destination fly-in restaurant and FBO. So we came up with the plan. We met with the CPA and he goes, this is y'all's passion. And I thought, it's not my passion. I'm just trying to diversify to make some money. Yeah. You know, I want to feed the family. I want right. to pay my mortgage. I right. want to keep moving right. and living. Um, and so when he used the word passion, he goes, well, what are you passionate about? Craft beer and the outdoors. Boom. I think the only days we were really happy in the airplane business was on days we closed deals. Sure. Right, yeah. Some years you do five deals, some years you do 20 deals. And so those, those wins were few and far between. Okay. They were big wins, but this, you feel like you've accomplished something every day. Most of us, you know, in this day and age, I, I have a hard time spending money on myself. Sure. I love to spend money on my wife, my kids, my yep. friends. Yep. And so I don't buy that shirt or I don't buy that hat. Yeah, yeah. And so we, we've created kind of a, a space, a safe place for you. You have to really to love have it. To have a beer or two. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then you buy that for yourself. The community, I think, is what created this culture. Right? We, just, cool. we just put a spot for them to come to that they've been wanting. And so cool. We've made lifelong friends because of this. We've had six engagements here. We've really? had three weddings here. Really? Oh yeah. So yeah. you didn't you didn't set out to start a wedding venue? No. 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 There's just something. People just love it. There's something special about it, and it's and it's a combination of everything. It's a combination of this beautiful building and us and our team, but more so the community that comes in here day in day out. It's like it's just a really neat. It's almost lightning in a bottle. It's and so cool. Yeah. There's a lot of people that sell beer, wine, and clothing. Sure. And there's a lot of people that do those things together. Right. What I've noticed here personally is every time I walk in, people are smiling, yep. people stand in line happy, people feel like they're part of something, even if they don't know anybody. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I've sat down at a table in here and start, struck up a conversation with a stranger, and it's like, it's old world almost. Yeah. Yes. It's not 2021. It's like we're 1921 or 1850. I don't know, but it's just totally different. You're, it's transcending time. So uh, the golden rule. One of the coolest restaurants I've ever personally set foot in. Let's talk about it. How'd that happen? Well, it was kind of weird. We were we were looking very hard at expanding Mesquite Creek into other towns. Okay. We were in here one day having a beer. The city manager came in. He asked how it was going, and we were telling him. He goes, "Man, that's great. I'm so happy for you guys." Because just FYI, we'd really love to see you guys reinvest in Georgetown. And that just got our wheels spinning with. Why wouldn't we put our efforts into our hometown where yeah. we live and where yeah. our kids go to school and all our friends are and stuff? And about a month later, we bought the building. <laughs> Probably like it was, it happened really quickly. And it had initially started out with it's just going to be a bourbon bar that's open Thursday to Saturday or right. something. Right. And then it just sort of evolved from there, it became a full blown restaurant and it was organic. It just felt right. Thanks again for joining us today. From here in Georgetown, Texas, and from me and my family, cheers to your American dream.